Let's put this together and do you want to run through just a quick sample day of eating, right? So like someone who wants to meet all the targets and we know that variety across the week is super important, but within like one day, what would be some sort of generic meal yeah, that someone could yeah. include? A uh, typical day uh, for breakfast, we'll start with that first meal yep. of the day. Uh, yep. Try to include some grains. Uh, so it could be you know, cereal, a good whole grain cereal, could be oats, could be uh, making a smoothie with some oats in there as well. Um, making sure that you're having you know those, those whole grains which are going to provide lots of iron uh, also a bit of protein and other uh, micronutrients and then uh, i think it's pretty important to include a calcium fortified plant milk so it could be soy milk could be almond milk just make sure it's calcium fortified you're going to get a, a good portion of your daily serving of, of calcium uh, and then uh, maybe including some fruit or or vegetables depending on if you're going for a cereal or if you're going to go for a more savory breakfast yeah uh, but including you know just some berries or uh, half a banana or a piece of fruit or whatever just to sort of get some food in start of the day uh, and breakfast is also a time for people who are paying a bit more attention where you can include maybe some flax or chia seeds um, for their omega-3 content so that's pretty much pretty much all that i've sort of ticked the boxes for in breakfast so grains calcium fortified milk uh, some fruit or maybe some vegetables if you're going a savory route and then a uh, flax or chia seed yeah perfect um, and you know if you want to make a savory breakfast you could go for like a tofu scramble yeah um because tofu as well is going to be providing a lot of calcium um because tofu is normally made with the calcium salt um gotcha yeah, yeah. so that's that's another route yeah. tofu scramble whole grain bread um maybe some you know tomatoes baby spinach yeah. mushrooms something in the in the, in the yeah with it. so that's a good like savory option and then you've got you know maybe the more um grain based option with like say oats with the the chia and the flaxseed and, yeah. and some blueberries and you're gonna get you know you cover most of your bases there yeah. yeah yeah cool uh and then for lunch and dinner just follow a similar sort of structure that we we're talking about before the, the plate model so pick a um pick a plant-based protein could be tofu tempeh um chickpeas lentils any kind of legume uh sort of make that you know staple in every in every lunch and dinner um you know not just for the protein but you know they contain a lot of those those uh, minerals and vitamins as well so uh including those so that's going to be one quarter of the plate uh and then you're going to be including uh, you know type of carbohydrate could be grains again could be starchy vegetables like potato or sweet potato um could be you know, a grain like rice or pasta or you know if you're gonna get fancy with like some frico or you know, barley or whatever, oh. you know, whatever, you, whatever, you, whatever tickles your fancy, <laughs> uh, and then just try to include a variety, uh, you know, a few different vegetables in there. So it could be two or three different vegetables, you know, as many as you want. Making a, a salad or some separate vegetables, or if you're going to make a, a pasta dish or a rice dish, just include, um, you know, try to make you know a good portion of that meal coming from vegetables. Um, and then you know you could also add some some healthy fats with an avocado or nuts or seeds or um, whatever, you know something like that if you want yep. um, but you know as long as you're taking that protein uh, grains or starch veg and then a variety of veg that's the main things that you want to you structure um, and then same so same goes with dinner uh, and then when it comes to having some snacks you know try to try to make most of your snacks uh, something nutritious you know you're better off getting something that's coming from you know a, a, a whole plant food like you know some some veggie sticks and hummus or some um, you know, whole grain crackers and hummus or maybe some fruits, nuts, seeds, like a trail meal type of thing. Um, try to make those sort of most of your, your meals so you're getting you know some more nutrition there rather than just getting some empty calories from um, you know more processed foods yeah. um, like you know whatever. Donuts, biscuits, yeah, yeah. cookies, you know. Yeah, they're, good <laughs> they're, fine to include, they're fine to include, but if you know, if that's the majority of your snacks, yeah. you're going to be missing out on nutrients. Yeah, um, you shouldn't be having a that. donut for every snack that you have, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. 80 20 rule, you know. That's right. 80% of the time, just, just you know, eat healthy, whole food, uh, nutritious foods. Uh, and 20% of the time, eat whatever the hell you want. That's right. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the main things. Yeah. Breakfast following that structure lunch following a similar structure and then trying to have most of your snacks around based around you know, yeah. healthy nutritious foods yeah cool yeah. yeah it's 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 relatively simple but it's just having a little bit more knowledge about certain things to include to help you know hit certain nutrient targets like your you know your flax seed and your chia and you know your fortified milks and um and then shrimp variety and vegetables is super yeah. important as well um so yeah no nice nice sort of simple layout there for a sample day of eating yeah. Thank you.